this all are the standard annotation from the uh, from the GPA like tab add grade tables, add grade entity, add grade primary key, add grade ID, and all the standard. But there is some specific and on a SQL database, even though some specific standard the annotation is there. You see the UDD. UDT is specific for Cassandra and user type is also the customer Cassandra. If you are talking about the Redix, maybe there is a different. I will show you later, later when when I start the Redix part and Gamefire part and Elastic Search part. Uh, based on those service uh, backend server non SQL database, then how can you how can you start how can you implement the REST services and call these REST services but into the front end any any type of front end doesn't matter which type of front end you are trying to use it. So, <clears throat> so we define the names and we define the key space. This is a key space already installed, already in, already configured into the Cassandra database. So this is the standard getter and setter. You can or you can even though you can use the Lombok uh, the annotation, then you don't need it to get a standard getter and setter. If you see that there's a relationship, that's I will talk about detail in the project structure. Uh, see the one plots has a many many authorizations ownerships payments utility and billings information so on so forth <clears throat> so authorization information you got it it has names it has key space as a primary key as a primary key as you authorization id it has a primary key as a plural id and building ID and plot ID so so everything same just like different primary key all structure same if you get it one strong one models then just simply change the other model that's you that you as as far as your requirements just change the primary key id and that's it works automatically this is the subset of our enterprise application models that's i'm here looking trying to give it to you not the complete enterprise application just clear understanding like a subset of functionalities what we are looking for but other cases we have really more ORM, the object relational mapping structures. So we have a registration process with the user registration object and the user role, all complete logging, logging, logout, and the role, role, all privileges set up. And then you have a standard structure like plots has a many buildings, and the plot itself has authorized own many, many authorizations, many, many ownerships, many billing information, payment information, and then also the utility information for and one plot has a many buildings that's that's the real subset of structure for enterprise application what we have it like we have a registration process that's exactly here and then we have one one plot has a many many authorization billings ownership payments and utilities and then then one uh, many buildings and then and then again the buildings has own or many authorizations billings ownership payments and utilities and then gets to the floors of buildings and it's itself the same models so that means the same models are using different level of your linking so it's a same authorization billing ownership and payment and utilities linked to the plots buildings and floor and units that's the, our enterprise structure but here we are trying to give it to you how the very simple structure like like registration process plus one one plot registration process with the, all the related uh, models all the related domain models i mean the orms like authorizations billings ownerships and payment and utilities and so on and so forth So this is all the standard getter and setter. This is nothing special. Or even though if you don't like to put it layer big code, the standard getter and setter, you can Lumbook for the annotation is setting the 
uh, here is the data annotation and getter and setter and that's all it works automatically because i said it's older applications we implemented the last years but uh, we didn't have enough time to to, to record it and that's why uh, i just we use the the older approach standard approach standard getter and setter and then it just works <coughs> You see the billing information, billing informations, and that's one plot has a many billings. That's we already linked it, linked up to this one, and it has a. You see the the our repository, and then you see the repository definition. That's we already talk about. That's the simple crude repository definitions, uh, or or simple here the you define is repository test resources, and then do you test and do you deployment the services this is the then there is specific cassandra repository that's the most important one uh, you can use the cassandra base cassandra specific is it yes look for type type id cassandra repository this most important repository so that means every every non-sql database has own repository definition and like elastic search repository the cassandra repository and then game fire repository and then Odin repository. if you don't use this specific repository even though you can go with the specific with our standard uh, repository like uh, page uh, jpa repository or paging and sorting repository crude repository whatever you like to do but sometime we use the standard repository sometime we use the Cassandra specific repository depending what type of repository you try to use it or use cases uh, We find it really good. So you see that the near in the in the repository definition uh, projection query query annotation and select the very simple uh, Select statement from the Cassandra database and then it works automatically. That's that's just look for the uh, uh, Source code and look for the all, all of these steps and then I, I we believe you can get really clearly what I mean how can you all the possibilities of the repositories here we try to cover all the repositories but even though uh, if you can go only one repository that's that's what you work with your requirements depending how for our case we use all the possibility to 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 to, uh, to, to give it to you and then our enterprise application we fix only one some some models we use the cassandra repository and some models we use the jpa repository some models we use the paging and sorting repository depending on the requirements our specification which one really fit with us that's the, our intention but you can all the combination is possible to do you see that the we use the very specific uh, type a type ID Cassandra repository and this is our main applications and then here is the types in the repository for address and then <coughs> and this is our service definitions very simple service for the crude operations and then implementation of the services you can see this is the user registration services uh, interface definitions and implement the really really systematic way so you see the service and the implant impel package that's i say already talk about the implementation very simple implementation we need to talk about a little bit here so we implement extend our service what we define in the in the, the the service interface and we implement the interface and service annotations okay there's those who have no experience about the spring boot basic annotation please google it and take it very easily but if you will follow this screencast, I believe you can memorize it. You can use it like the same structure. You can build very quickly any REST service API, uh, REST services, and deploy it, install it. Doesn't matter how. It's it's like two or three hours works, but it depending on the requirement, the specifications. Very simple. So we we define our interfaces in the really professional structure like service and service implementation. We define the interfaces here. And implement the interfaces here so you see the one example like here plot service implement and it implements the plot service and we injected the waterware the yeah, the the, uh, the, uh, the uh, plot info crude upper repository that's which we only talk about plot into crude repository here we define it and then we inject the autoware the repository and use the all the functionality you see the very very simple all the default repository works as it is do the crude operation find all use that find all repository and get the all the record from the database and list of uh, plot information the object domain and you can find it the specific uh, id you pass the id and find the specific plot informations authorization information billing information buildings information 
ownership information, all the basic good operation. If you need a complex queries, we can write down a repository that's we wrote it here. 